Hey everyone, how's it going? This is the Bold Metal Nerd coming at you with another video. And you already know what this one's going to be about because, well, you read the title. I have an issue that is pretty common in older vehicles. I'll just go ahead and show you what that issue is. Let this thing power on here. Okay, I got a wonderful check engine light on. And it's going to be a catalytic converter below efficiency. So let's see what my reader here says. OBD reader, so let's... All right. As we wait for that uh, to happen, basically, here's uh, the history of what's going on with this vehicle. Uh, I had the check engine light come on pretty recently. Um, and I actually went to like AutoZone to get a code read. They told me it was oxygen sensor. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just swap out the oxygen sensors on this vehicle. As you can see, it has 197,095 miles on it. So almost 200,000 miles on it. And I figured, oh, I'll just replace all the oxygen sensors. So I go to Rock Auto. I order the oxygen sensors. I put them on. And I clear the code. And uh, drive it for a little bit and what should happen but the check engine light to come back on so what does the check engine show it should be p yep exactly what i thought p0420 catalytic system below threshold as in below efficiency so um you know i uh, called a, uh, exhaust place after this because I really, yeah, I put on the oxygen sensors, but I don't really want to replace the catalytic converter on this thing. It's got almost 200,000 miles on it. I don't want to dump that much money into this vehicle. And uh, they said, well, you know, try just clearing the code. Sometimes when you put new oxygen sensors on, uh, you know, that, that'll trigger that code even if there's nothing really wrong with the catalytic converter. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just clear the code with, again, this code reader here, which I'll do a full review on probably in another video. But, um, so I was like, okay, fine, I'll do that. And I cleared the code about, oh, roughly about 200, I reset my tripometer when I did. So about 260 miles ago, I actually reset the check engine light and, well, after driving about 260 miles, it came back on. But when I got the code reader, I also got the main thing I'm going to be talking about in this video. I got some Cataclean, right? Yippee. <laughs> to, uh, you know, put in here to see if it'll actually clear this code out and what it'll do. I don't know if the uh, Cataclean is going to work or not, but hey, we're going to find out in this video. Um, it looks like it seems to be about 50-50. About half the feedback I hear on it is positive. Half says it's you know, doesn't work, so I guess I'll find out if it works in my case or not. Um, I have to drive this vehicle a bit more uh, before I put the Cataclean in because it has to be a bit below a quarter of a tank. As you can see right now, I'm a bit below half a tank, so I gotta drive it to work. I gotta drive this. I drive this vehicle to work one more day. That's about to and from work is about 60 miles, so I'll definitely be below that quarter of a tank at that time. Then I'll add the Cataclean and we'll see how she does. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a few days, you know, with some feedback, and uh, we'll see what's going on. See you in a bit. All right, folks, the day has come to uh, add the Cataclean to the uh, fuel tank. I'm slightly under a quarter of a tank, and you can see I opened the bottle up. So let me uh, just get try to get this thing in here as cleanly as I can. There we go. stuff. Pulling the Cataclean in the fuel tank, I think. I think that's it. And you can see the rust termites have really gotten underneath where my fuel door is. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Nope. All empty, so we'll just cap this up. Throw it in the bed. Whatever. Oh right, I should I should look at the instructions. A little bit. Uh, the next step is uh, drive 10 to 15 miles uh, normally, then refuel. 
I'm going to do a little bit more than that. I'm going to drive it yeah, slightly more than that, maybe. And I'm going to intentionally do some high rev driving. Okay, folks, I drove over 24 miles with some pretty hard driving. Purposely doing some high revs there. And uh, check engine light still hasn't came off. So I'm going to fill her up now. See you in a bit. Because I'm about to clear my codes off here. So let's go ahead and uh, go down here. And I'm going to choose race codes. Yes. That's fine. Race command perform read code to verify. All right, so let's make sure that that worked. Read codes. See if it finds anything. No cords are stored. So let's turn the engine on. And check engine light is officially off. I have reset the tripometer uh, after reset after you know driving. Filling up and resetting the codes. We'll see if it goes longer than 230 mile ish, 230 ish miles uh, before coming back on. So that'll be the real test to see if the Cataclean did a damn thing or not. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, it's been a little bit since I uh, put the Cataclean in. It's been 451 miles, and the check engine light has not, I repeat, not come back on, which is fantastic. Uh, and according to this uh, reader here, it looks like the catalytic uh, converter gets a green checkbox. So, hey, you know, that's good. All right, folks, here we are some weeks later, and this is how long it's been since I put the Cataclean in and reset it since the Cataclean. 772 miles, and no check engine lights on. So I think we can categorically say that the Cataclean does something, right? Uh, exactly what, I'm not sure, but it appears to do something. So I give it the thumbs up, definitely worth trying. Now, if my check engine light comes back on, uh, I will update the video description. But for now, uh, Cataclean definitely gets my recommendation. Anyway, I hope you guys like this. As always, live long and prosper. Keep on rocking. I'll see you in the next one.